everyone i am assistant professor urmi shah from itxct department of lg institute of engineering and technology so we were continuing with our subject that is telecommunication engineering offered in seventh semester and now from today we will be starting our unit number 1 that is electronic switching system up till now we have discussed about what is the application of telecommunication engineering what are the different concepts involved in telecommunication engineering where it can be applied in market and in industry application that we have discussed up till now now moving ahead we will be starting with the first chapter that is electronic switching system basically uh, the term electronic switching system might uh, be familiar to you that the systems which are involved in our day to day life as a part of electronic switching applications will be covered in this unit so let's start with the first chapter so following are the topics that we are going to cover in this unit so unit number 1 we'll be focusing on what are the switching systems how the switching systems are classified what is electronic switching system that we will be discuss in this session so let's start with the first topic so basically uh, coming to the question what are switching system so what question arises in your mind like how the switching system will work what is switching system and why we are using switching system and basically what are the different types of switching system and how we are using or how we are learning the working of switching system so these are the questions which will arise when you will start understanding this topic so basically the first switching system definition is basically a switching system can be understood as a collection of switching elements arranged and controlled in such a way as to set up a common path between any two distinct points between any two different points you are creating a path such that a system can be controlled as well as it can be set up according to your requirement so basically that is a switching system the introduction of switching system reduced the complexity of wiring and made the telephone hassle free so basically as the switching systems were introduced the complexity of wire if you are having two distinct points which are located at very far place and it is very difficult to connect them through wires or cables long wires will be uh, running in your path if you are walking so for long distances wire connection is not preferred at that time we require a switching system which can provide a possible common path between two distinct point such that it can work upon our application so this made the telephony hassle free telephony hassle free here means that the telephone system where we were using the telephone networks having lots of wiring that were reduced now we are, we are having cordless phones in our uh, landline uh, system so that was the improved version with respect to the previous wired version with the upcoming of switching system nextly the switching system is classified in following different types so switching system can be of two types either you can have manual switching or you can have automatic switching manual switch means the person has to go and he or she has to switch on or switch off according to your requirement in automatic switching we have different categories in automatic we have again two further classification that is electromechanical and electronic stored program control now what are these two system that we will be seeing in the upcoming slides 
so electromechanical is classified here in two parts that is torture or step by step switching system and the another is cross bar switching system so these are the two types in electromechanical switching system what is cross bar what is torture that we will be seeing now electronic switching system includes two classification which are dependent on two important parameter that is time and space based on space division switching we have different systems available while based on time division switching we have further classification in form of analog and digital digital switching systems involve further classifications like space switch time switch combinational switch so these are the classification of whole switching system this way switching system can be classified moving forward now let's understand each of them in depth but before understanding the classification let's understand some basics about switching system so basically switching systems in the early stages were operated manually where there was not technology advancement at that time manual switching systems were working but with the advancement in technology automation came and we had a system which was working on automatic switching concept the connections were made by the operators at the telephone exchanges in order to establish a connection that is a part of manual switching system while to minimize this limitation or this disadvantage of manual operation automatic switching systems were invented so this is about why we are shifting from manual switching to automatic switching so why we have move towards automation because to avoid or to reduce human efforts by doing manual work automatically so this is the reason we shifted to automatic switching from manual switching nextly the arrangement it is an arrangement that processes the message signal into suitable form for transmission and subsequently for reception so this is what a switching system is it is an arrangement where we are sending our message such that it can be transmitted truthfully and received truthfully so that is the basic about switching system nextly switching systems are classified in automatic switching system as following that is electromechanical and electronic switching system so basically electromechanical switching systems are having mechanical switches and they are electrically operated electromechanical the word itself says that mechanical switches are operated electrically while electronic switching system here we are using electronic components such as diode transistor integrated circuits which will be helpful as a part of switching operation so in electronic switching system the usage of electronic components such as diode transistor ic are used for switching purposes so this is the difference between the two types that is electromechanical and electronic switch nextly the electromechanical switching systems are a combination of mechanical and electrical switching types the electrical circuits and the mechanical relays are deployed in them so basically it is a combination of electronic and mechanical components that is electromechanical switching system the electromechanical switching systems are also further classified in two types the first type is step by step or stroger switch switching system and the second type is cross bar switching system so moving forward the next step by step switching system is the connection or the arrangement in which we are having the stroger switching system one after the other so basically in step by step switching system 
we also called it as stroger switching system it is named after an inventor ab stroger the scientist or the researcher who developed this system was ab stroger and after his name this system is also called ab stroger stroger switching system the control functions in a stroger system are performed by circuits which are associated with the switching elements in the system so this way the stroger system works and it was named after the name of scientist the another kind of switching system is the crossbar switching system this is the next type of classification in electromechanical switching category the crossbar switching systems have hardwired control subsystems which use relays and latches the circuit elements include relay and latches in crossbar switching system this subsystems have limited capability and it is virtually impossible to modify them to provide additional functionality so these are the two different types of electromechanical system that is stroger and crossbar so this uh, subject or this course is little bit theoretical we will have lots of different concepts so you need to focus on different topics and its logic then you will be easily able to remember the things about what are different switching system what are the circuitry involved in them so this is all about basics of electromechanical system now the another type of system are electronic switching system this is the category of automatic switching system so basically the electronic switching systems are operated with the help of a processor or a computer which control the switching time the instructions are programmed and stored on a processor or computer that control the operations this method of storing the programs on a processor or a computer is called stored program control technology new facilities can be added to a spc system by changing the control program so basically what happens here the electronic switching systems are automatically working based on the concept how the processor is processed based on your application you need to process your computer or your processor and based on that processing unit it is going to generate the output if you want to have a desired output then you need to have storage of your program and based on that stored program control technology this electronic switching system works so this is about basics of electronic switching system now in this we have also further classification the switching schemes used by the electronic switching systems may be either space division and time division switching so this is the classification for electronic switching system which includes two types that is space division switching and time division switch switching in space division switching a dedicated path is established between the calling and call subscriber for entire duration of call so path is developed between the person who is calling and the person who is called in space division switching while in time division switching sampled values of speech signals are transferred at a fixed interval of time so one piece of uh, speech signal is transferred then another piece of speech signal will be transferred after certain time interval so that is time division switching now let's understand them in detail that is the time division switching may be analog or digital so this is the further classification in time division switching in analog switching the sampled voltage levels are transmitted as they are however in binary switching they are binary coded and then they are transmitted nextly in space switching if the coded values are transferred during the same time interval 
from input to output the technique is called space switching same way if the values are stored and transferred to the output at a time interval then the technique is called time division switching so basically in time division switching we are having the sending of messages with respect to time while in space division switching the sending of messages is with respect to space parameter a time division digital switch may also be designed by using a combination of space and time switching so this techniques can be combined and we can have another kind of switching technique which is a combination of time division digital switching so it can be in form of combination of time and space so this was all about the basic understanding of electro mechanical and electronic switching systems and this was all about the switching systems you can understand this topics by having its analysis from this reference book so these are the references for the topics which we have covered today and in the moving next session we will be discussing in depth about electronic switching systems so this was all about basics of switching system thank you for watching this session thank you